An Xbox controller is a great way of playing games on Windows PCs, but do you know that you can also use it as a keyboard and mouse replacement? My name is Adullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're going to do just that. Now when you first connect your Xbox controller to your Windows PC, uh, the glowing Xbox logo, if you hold this down, and this is an Xbox One uh, controller, One X or X series controller, you hold this button down and you move the RS as you can see I can move uh, the cursor around and I can use the triggers as mouse buttons but the problem with this approach is that uh, sometimes your controller will turn off midway because you're holding down the uh, Xbox button and that's the power switch as well and if you don't do it right you'll just end up opening the Xbox game bar which is opening on my second monitor at the moment for some reason just demonstrate it yeah, you just end up uh, opening the game bar instead of moving the cursor around. So what you can do to resolve that uh, is very easy. There are two options you can use. The first one is on Steam. It's called a Controller Companion. It's a small app, a uh, couple of dollars at best and uh, you can navigate your pc desktop with a controller with it uh, you can put uh, mouse media and keyboard control uh, so you can map it all to your uh, xbox uh, input so for example controller input uh, or mouse input can be mapped to your two joysticks and you can have buttons uh, do the task of clicking something on your system or anything of the sort so that is one app if you don't want to spend the money uh, the other option is to download gopher 360 now this is an open source tool uh, the link for which will be in the description below but for now let me just show you so yeah uh, you go to the link in the description below and you will land at their github repository is now this is a tool uh, as pretty much a zero configuration tool that turns your xbox 360 xbox one and uh, even a dual shock controller into a keyboard and mouse so downloading and setting it up is extremely easy what you have to do is head over to this page and you will see the download button right up click on this and this should initiate an exe file download once the exe has downloaded we are going to open this folder up So, uh, this is it. Now, as you can see, I can scroll with my controller and I can move my mouse with my left stick. So, if I can show you this, as you can see, I can move my mouse around. I can scroll with this window. So, if my mouse is on this, I can use the RS to scroll. Uh, you can hit the left and right bumpers simultaneously to... Um, sort of your uh, increase your speeds so how fast uh, the move as you see i just press them there and the speed has been moved to high press it again speed has moved to slow so the mouse moves slow comes back to medium medium is i think pretty good for most cases and uh, then we can always just set up the buttons how the way you like for example uh, a is right click b is uh, open different actions right here you can have so x is the right click and you can just go around uh, figure it out and once you're done you can just close it this will of course stop functioning once you close it so when you run the app for the first time it generates a config.ini file and uh, if we take a look at this you can see that uh, it sets different buttons to different windows so you get left mouse right mouse let me just bring this window here so that you can see so this is the default configuration um set zero for no field. so you have all of these different keyboard shortcuts that uh, you can set to different buttons and uh, then of course you've got the disable hiding the terminal left middle right mouse button so these are all hex codes a little bit difficult to read completely but you can uh, the x input values actually so you can go visit this url right here 
given in this to know what button does what and then you can sum the hex value for button shortcuts and so on and so forth and that's it that's how easily you can turn your xbox controller into a controller for windows that you can use your windows inter with your windows interface if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video